So when you're ready to work on Google Earth, you navigate to the Applications folder on your Mac, and you double-click on the Google Earth icon. This will begin the Google Earth program. When you open the main screen, you will find, on your left-hand side, the search panel. In this search panel, you can search for places and directions. Under the places, you can locate, save, and organize the place marks that you have created. And in the layers, you can display various settings that allow you to learn more about the different locations. In the center, you'll find the current location. And on the right-hand side, you will find your navigational controls. You'll find the zoom slider to zoom in and out, the move joystick to move back and forth, and the look joystick, which allows you to look around. When you're ready to go back to your original position, just hit the N and it will take you back. On the top of the screen, you will find a series of icons. The first one is the hide sidebar. This will collapse your search panel so that all you have to view is the location where you're at. The second is the place mark. By clicking this, you can add a place mark in any of the locations that you've selected. Then we have the polygon and path tool. The polygons and path have much of the same information as place marks. Paths will allow you to save a certain amount of place marks and then put a tour together. The image overlay are the mapping images that can show weather, typographical conditions, hiking trails, theme parks, fishing spots, national parks, as well as satellite imagery. Next to image overlay, you will find the record a tour. All settings for recording tours, such as speeding up, slowing down, putting stops, putting loops, are found in the Google Earth Preferences. This icon shows you a timeline, and in certain places, you have the opportunity to go back in time and see the area as it was on a certain date. The sunlight allows you to see where the location of the sun is at certain times of the day in the area that you're in. This icon allows you to see the Earth, the sky, Mars, and Moon. By going into the sky, you'll be able to see constellations, galaxies, and stars. By going into the moon, you'll even be able to see some of the craters and oceans that have been marked on the moon's surface. With this ruler icon, you can measure the distances between locations or even see the size of certain buildings, oceans, or points of interest. The email icon allows you to send images or views to yourself or another user by email. With the print icon, you will send the current image that is in your screen. And the last one is to view in Google Maps. So let's begin by collapsing the Places screen. In our search box, we will put in the Great Barrier Reef. The first thing that Google Earth does is find certain businesses or places where it thinks we might be interested in seeing. Since we're not interested in these places, we will just go ahead and unselect and collapse that. We will move down to Places and Layers, which is what we are interested in looking at. Now, since it seems that we have zoomed out, we will put a little bit more distance between us by either using our mouse, moving forward and backward, or by using our zoom button on the screen. Now we're at the location of the Great Barrier Reef, although currently none of the points of interest are being shown. So if we go into our Layers panel, you will see a series of options that we may click on. By clicking on our Ocean option, we now begin to see a series of points of interest. So for example, 
The first one we're looking at, Explore the Ocean, takes us on a tour of the Great Barrier Reef. It gives us a little summary of information and even allows us to play a movie. As you can see, a few of these are important dive spots that have been tagged by users or visitors. Now, for example, here I'm clicking on an icon and it's showing me Leopard Shark. When I go back into my layers panel, I see that these are endangered ocean species. So I can double click, have a chance to see what they're trying to show me, and click on any more of these options to be redirected into videos, images, and a possible website that will give me more information about leopard sharks. There are other options on our layers panel that we haven't even begun to discover. So take your time, look around, and begin to enjoy Google Earth.